normally this is what happens. They never become attached to bone. What does this mean? That means that any time in your life you could have orthodontic treatment because teeth will always be able to be moved orthodontically and also means that teeth will, won't stay straight your whole life. If your face changes, it's likely your teeth may change a little bit too. Why? Because they're always suspended by the periodontal ligament in the socket. So that's the key point, and the function of the periodontal ligament is to allow for this adjustment of the dentition within the face as it grows. So we're going to talk about two more things really quick. One is, what's the difference between a tooth and a titanium implant? Okay, people say a titanium implant or a dental implant replaces a tooth. It doesn't. It replaces no tooth. So what happens is this. We have the bone. We have no tooth. The surgeon... drills a hole in the bone and then inserts a titanium implant into that hole. At the interface between the bone and the titanium implant we get osseointegration which means that the implant and the bone become one. So the major difference between a natural tooth and an implant is that a natural tooth has a periodontal ligament space and is able to adjust its position as the face grows, whereas a titanium implant is incapable of eruption or drift or any kind of movement within the face or within the bone. And that's a huge, huge difference. And it becomes important clinically because we know that the face is growing downward and forward. We know that the maxilla is, is being displaced downward and forward. We know that there's remodeling. We know that the teeth, the teeth erupt and drift towards the occlusal plane. And teeth that are implants, like this, aren't going to change. Huge difference. Let's just think about it this way. Get rid of this. Switch over now. We've got the maxillary first molar. We've got the mandibular first molar. They're in occlusion at the level of the occlusal plane. Second molar comes along. And it erupts to the level of the occlusal plane until it contacts the maxillary molar which erupts to the occlusal plane and once the teeth are in contact at the occlusal plane the process that we call eruption is over. So eruption is the movement of teeth into occlusion to establish the occlusal plane. Another phenomenon occurs after that. Remember what's happening, the face being displaced downward and forward we were getting remodeling. We talked about how there's deposition of bone on the paddle aspect. So you see what would happen is if the mandible was displaced downward and forward and the teeth didn't continue to move, you would end up with a gap between your teeth. So what keeps the teeth together? What, what allows those teeth to stay in contact? Because we know that the face of a 12-year-old and the face of a 16-year-old are really different. How do the teeth stay in contact? That's the process of dental drift. Teeth in the maxilla drift inferiorly towards the occlusal plane. Teeth in the mandible drift superiorly towards the occlusal plane so that throughout life you maintain contact of the upper and lower teeth even though the face is changing. 
So important concept here, it says, what's the difference between dental eruption and dental drift? They're both tooth movements. They're both movements of teeth within the bone. Eruption has to do with the progress of a tooth that goes from out of contact, development inside the bone, to the occlusal plane. That's eruption. Once it contacts, as the face grows, the movement of the teeth within the bones is the drift. So we get vertical drift and we get eruption. And those are two important concepts. And the last thing, I think that's everything that we said we wanted to cover here in this segment. So we've got, the first thing is understand the physiologic importance of the periodontal ligament. Obviously, that's that dynamic interaction between tooth and bone. Second, be able to describe the difference between a natural tooth and a titanium implant. Well, the titanium implant is incapable of movement. So a titanium implant, for example, in an, would be a bad idea in an eight-year-old because what's going to happen? If you put an implant in the front in the, for the central incisor, that eight-year-old grows, what's going to happen? One tooth, the natural tooth, will drift with the growth of the face. The implant will stay there, and it will be a big problem. So the difference between implants and natural teeth is that implants are incapable of movement because they don't have a periodontal ligament. Final thing, difference between drift and eruption might be a subtle thing, but it's important to understand. Eruption is the movement of the teeth towards the occlusal plane until they meet and, and form that first contact. Drift is what occurs after that to keep the teeth in contact while the face is growing. So I hope this helps give you an introduction to the Chapter 7, which we call the impact of the dentition on uh, facial growth, the role of the dentition on facial growth. Uh, use this along with the study guide that I gave you, and hopefully it will make it easier to understand what we're talking about here. Thanks.